Ilya Teporia says he already has a date for UFC Spain. He, of course, would headline that show. Who it would be against? Well, it could be Max Holloway. That's a fight that a lot of people want to see. A fight that makes sense. Max is coming off that incredible knockout victory over Justin Gaethje, which earned him the BMF belt. And that BMF belt is something that Teporia wants on the line when they eventually fight. Temporia sits in the number 5 position in the pound for pound rankings. Max Holloway is ranked number 8 pound for pound. The number 1 pound for pound fighter, Mahachev, will be putting that ranking on the line in two and a half weeks on June 1st when he headlines UFC 302 versus Dustin Poirier for the lightweight belt. Islam's last month of preparation is at Nick Catone's MMA club in New Jersey, and he's training with some guys such as Bilal Muhammad, Bahamandez, and Usman. Nurmagomedov. Usman was supposed to be headlining the Bellator show Friday in Paris, but that fight is off with Shabli. So headlining the show is Patchy Mix versus Magomed Magomedov. Dumbay versus Willis is the co-main event. Contender Series veteran and winner Jonas Bellarino is on that card, as well as UFC veterans Thibaut Guti and Aspen Ladd. Number 7 ranked welterweight Ian Gary says he has accepted fights with number 4 ranked Colby Covington, number 8 ranked Sean Brady, number 11 ranked Joaquin Buckley, and number 13 ranked Michael Venom Page. He says he's waiting to hear back to see who accepts. Colby Covington seemed like the guy who would be a no-brainer for Gary to fight. I thought that would be the next matchup, but Colby now interested in fighting Bilal Muhammad or Charles Oliveira at welterweight, so... A lot of the welterweight division remains stagnant. Dan Ige says his mom's car was stolen on Mother's Day while she was working at the Red Rock Casino. He says, Mama needs a new car. Send the contract. He needs a new fight. He's coming off a big victory via KO over Andre Feely. Brandon Roy Val posted this. Number one, Roy Val versus number three, Al Bazi. July 13th, five-round fight in Denver, Colorado. That's the fight night card, which is headlined by Macy Barber versus Rose Namajunas. If this fight does happen... It'll be a flyweight women's main event and a flyweight men's co-main event. Amanda Lemos is going to be taking on Virna Janji Doba on July 20th. Amanda Lemos is coming off a win over Mackenzie Dern. And Janji Doba is coming off a victory over Lupita Gudinez. The USC has switched up a couple matchups in the flyweight division. Now Alex Perez takes on Tyra in the main event of the June 15th card. And Tagir Ulanbekov takes on Joshua Van. Originally, it was Tyra versus Van and Perez versus Ulanbekov, But now that's changed. These new fights will both take place June 15th at the USC Apex. This will be actually Perez's second main event in just around a month and a half. He's coming off a big victory over Nikolai, where he got a second round KO and picked up a performance bonus. With the victory, Perez moved into the number five spot in the flyweight ranking, so this is a huge opportunity for Tyra. He's ranked number 13. With the victory, he could break into the top five. Shauna Bannon taking on Ravina Oliveira at UFC 304 in Manchester on July 27th. Tom Aspinall Expect it to be the main event of that card. If it isn't against Cyril Ghosn, maybe Curtis Blades. John Anik is confident that Bilal Muhammad will be on that USC 304 Manchester card, taking on Leon Edwards, so that also is a potential headliner for that show. On that card, Giga Chikadze has an opportunity to make a jump in the featherweight rankings when he takes on number six ranked Arnold Allen. <laughs> Tricoli is out of this fight on Saturday, so Umar Sai will now take on Tuko Tokis, who takes this fight on just four days' notice. 
Waldo Cortez Acosta said he wanted to bang in the middle of the second round, but Despanier didn't want to do it. He just wanted to kick and BS. But two seconds after this, Cortez did clinch and go for a takedown. Tim McCann's going to be taking on Bruno Brazil July 27th at UFC 304 in Manchester. Cody Brundage recently lost to Bo Nickel, but he already has another fight scheduled. He's going to be taking out Abdul Razak Al Hassan on July 13th. That's the fight night card in Denver, Colorado, which is going to be headlined by Macy Barr. Barber versus Rose Namajunas. Denver native Drew Dober is looking to get on that card. He last fought in February where he lost a decision to Hanato Moicano. Hey y'all, I'm not going to get the Sean Woodson fight. I know he called me out. I know I accepted it, but the UFC has basically told my management that they had something else lined up for me. Um, I'm not even going to worry about it. I don't know who it is. I don't know when it is. I don't know where it is. I don't really ask stuff like that. Um, I just wait and see what they're going to tell me to do. But um, yeah, I'm not going to get to watch the fight. It's not my fault. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm glad he called me out because I wanted that fight too. But that's all right. Something, something better is coming. Somebody's ain't no has got to go. Nyan Jargal Tumandambari versus Andre Lima. Both fighters are eight no and take on each other at UFC 302 June 1st. It's Mongolia versus Brazil in Newark, New Jersey. For the best immunity. Nice night. Stay away from me. Don't say a word to me. I don't want to talk to you right now. Yeah, see that? It's bad behavior. It's bad behavior. 